Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about another use case where you can use a no-code approach and use a flow and process builder to share a record dynamically. So what that means is for those of you who are not very familiar with sharing, sharing um, settings is that um, Salesforce lets you configure a point and click to share record based on a record honor or a based on criteria. Okay, so let's say you might have a certain criteria and you want to share that records with certain groups, roles, and portal roles. So you could do that by writing sharing rules provided your org by default is either re, uh, private or read only. But if you want to share, have a more dynamic, for example, in our use case, we want to share a record whenever an expense record is created and if the user populates a user value on this lookup, right? So this is a lookup to user. Um, whenever a user populates a value here, this expense record should be shared dynamically with that user here, okay? Um, and currently that's not, you can do that using a sharing rule because it is only, it's, it's, it will already share the records with um, other roles and subordinates and public groups, but you can share it dynamically. So if you go to um, Salesforce documentation, you can find that there's something called Apex Manage Sharing. What that means is you can write a, maybe a trigger to share record dynamically, but that's a code approach, okay? So we're going to take a non-code approach. Before um, you can actually create the flow, you need one more thing here, is, uh, is that you need to create a sharing reason. So let me go there, view object. So when you go to the object, so it's either I'm, I'm in classic right now. And once you go to the object manager of that object, you'll see something called Apex Sharing Reasons. All right. So I already created one, but all you need to do is create new. And you can you can say anything you like here, but uh, it has to be according to your use case. Right. So later when you see why this record was shared, um, it will be helpful for you to name it accordingly proper naming convention for example if I go to one of my so let's say this this is my record right and if I go here and click the sharing button I should see how the sharing was shared so if you see here you see my name and since I'm the creator or I'm the owner of this record I'm the owner so that's the sharing reason all right and if I share it by using Apex or manage sharing that reason will populate here so you know why this record was shared and that's the that's the whole idea for um, actually having that having to write the sharing reason okay so I already have a sharing reason called food manager and that's what you are seeing over here now let's see how to do that actually um, okay so I'm going to go to my setup go ahead and click on your setup and we're going to create a flow And also, uh, bef another thing you might want to take note of is that every object has um, a object in the sharing table called uh, underscore share. So let's say if it is account, the object name is account share. If it is expense, every object which is private or read only has a object. If you go in workbench, you can find it's called expense underscore underscore share. So that will be the table where you create this record so that the record can be shared. It is a little um, advanced concept and I re highly recommend you reading through the sharing tables, but if you're looking to share a record dynamically, this is what you want to do. So create a new flow. And it's going to be a very simple flow yet very powerful. All you really need to do here is create a share record on that share table, right? So um, since we'll be calling this flow from a process builder, you'll already have that user ID. So we just need a record create.
distance. And um, on the object, you will start typing your object name. And you can see there uh, we have a spent share. All right. And if your org wide default is public read write or public read, you will not see these. Um, expense share object. So make sure your org wide default is proper according to uh, make sure your org wide default is private or read only. And then all right so another thing is that expense share or any share table has few fields that are required. First of all there is a parent ID. So parent ID means which record you want to share all right. So for me, I want to share the expense record which I'm creating and that expense record will be passed from the process builder. So we're going to create a new variable here. Click new variable and I'm saying expense ID because this is what I'll be passing from my process builder. So input and output and passed from process builder so you know what you're doing here. And what's the next field? Um, another field is row cause. And what that means is why are we sharing it? Basically, this is where you are going to put the sharing reason we just created. So there should be, um, it should come as food manager. Since I have a namespace, you'll get the namespace here. Otherwise, it should be whatever you type under Spoonless for C. Okay. And the name, next one is you want to specify which whom do you want to share this with right that's the whole use case so and that means user or group id so you can either share it with a user or a group and in our case we are sharing it with the lookup field right and we don't have that yet here so what we're going to do is in our use case since this is for the tutorial i'm making it simple and we're going to pass it from the possibility itself um so let's name it expense food manager and I'm going to say this is also going to be a text because that's an ID and pass this is also going to pass from the possibility because that's the record we're creating um, and very important one is what do you want what's the access level right and the access level you could either give edit read and I'm going to say edit so these four fields are required for a share table record. And hit OK. And that's it. Actually, that's the only uh, that's the only element we need here. Um, again, this is a this is a simple use case. And if you are expecting to create multiple multiple share um, records, or maybe you are passing multiple parent a parent is passing multiple child records in that case if you might need to use a fast create element and um, it the flow gets more complicated so but that's the idea and if you have any use case where you want to share with more um, objects at once let me know uh, in the comments and I can walk you through that so let's see expense share just save it And it just says that it's not connected to anything and that's fine in our use case um, maybe in a business the things might be more complicated and that's when you will need multiple elements so what's the next step we need to actually create a possible to pass this to pass those IDs to the flow right all right um, it's a very simple uh, process builder. I'm saying to keep it simple, no criteria, just execute the action. But in your case, I would recommend um, specify the conditions that the lookup, those fields are not empty. Because if they're empty, you might run into issues. So make sure that the fields are not empty and that's when the flow, the process builder should fire. And when we are calling the flow, oops, add action, call flow, There. and um, we created this flow so that's expense here and let's uh, input those values expense ID will be field reference and ID of the record that's being created 
next one is the food manager which is another field and I think that field I named it as lead control lead don't worry about my naming conventions uh, but that's the field label save it so we're passing this ID good and let's activate this flow and see what happens so flow the cross builder is activated and let's go back to our expense object create a new expense record so I'm saying the food manager is this person and yeah in the same way let's say if you also want to share with travel manager you need another flow element on the flow and there you will input these values and you'll pass this value to in the cross builder okay um, let's leave everything empty and save it all we need to see is if this record actually got shared with that person so right now if you just look at it my org by default is private okay that means only I as the owner should be able to see it let's go to the sharing and see as you can see here we have read write food manager and this person got shared so that's what I wanted to show to you and I know this was um, little this might be a little complicated for who, who is not aware of the sharing reason and sharing table but if you want to know more about it please let me know in the comments so I can um, create a video or write a blog on it um, I just wanted to really share how you can use flow for this use case and thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions